guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Goat Garage. And today we are going to be getting this old go-kart running again after sitting for many years. My name is Bentley and this is Little Goat Garage. So I got this go-kart off of Facebook Marketplace and I was actually able to buy this with my own money thanks to you guys for subscribing, so thank you. So we're also going to take a look at this. So this has a Robin Subaru in it. Um, it has two flat tires in the back. Um, this is a little melted. I think it gets a little hot. Um, the back seat is missing. These are a little broken. And then I'm pretty sure they hit a tree up here because there's a big dent right there. But I'm really excited to get this one running because my brothers can ride with me. So before we worry about like all the seats and all that, we're going to even make sure that it'll fire up before we even start doing all that. So first we're gonna check the oil over here. That, does that look good? It's over full. Yeah, it's like all the way up to here. So the next thing we're gonna do is drain the carburetor bowl right here to make sure that there's no like water or dirt in there. First thing we need to do to do that is turn the fuel off. So I've got to push it up there. I'm going to take off the center bolt down here on the carburetor bowl and then the whole th thing should just come off. Lots of water. Yeah. Ooh. rust in there. See if the float still moves. Is this the float? Yep. What's that? That is a gasket that is cracked. That's not good. My dad is cleaning out the carburetor bowl for me because he doesn't want me to um, handle with the chemicals. Another thing I want to do later on is under this seat, I don't know why, but there's a whole bunch of this cracked wood. I want to take that all out so that maybe next episode when we ride it, um, wood's not like flying everywhere and all that. And then also probably take these off because when you lean back, it like scra scratches you. So we're going to check the gas to, um, to see if there's any in here just to know if we have to drain it. There is not any in there, but there is like a lot of rust on the bottom of it and dirt. We're gonna try and put a little bit of gas in here and then shake the go-kart and then try and drain the gas to get all that rust and dirt out of the tank. So we got a little bit in here, so we're gonna shake it up. So the other people put on the wrong carburetor bolt, so this isn't long enough, so when we try and screw it up in there, the threads won't reach to right here to screw it in, so we're going to have to order a new one online. I also got a new on and off switch here because this one is really old and you can't even really read it, so I don't know if this is on or off, so we got a new one of these to put in later on. So we shook up the fuel tank and got all the old fuel out from under here. Um, we found out that there is a fuel filter right here. So we drained that out. That was really dirty and full of rust. But now we should be good to put fresh fuel in this once we get the bowl back on. We trimmed and cut the carburetor gasket to make it smaller. Um, we glued it up in here. Um, we had to get a bigger bolt to fit in there. So we're going to put it in here, and we're going to get this bull back on. So my dad doesn't like us putting gas and stuff. So he's going to put some fresh gas in there so that we can see if the carburetor will leak. 
Is it leaking yet? Um, doesn't look like it. It's just dripping off of wherever we spilt it, but yeah, it looks pretty good. We're gonna take the spark plug out and take a look at it. Oh, this is like stuck there. Oh, what is that? It's like white stuff jammed in here. It's uh, grease, anti-electrical, digital, shorter outer, rustage grease. Oh, that's weird. Let's pop that out and see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, this is already really, really loose. Yeah, definitely needs clean. So I was worried that water got into the engine for how loose the spark plug was. So I turned it over a few times and luckily there was no water in the engine. This is 400 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna work it back and forth right here to clean it up a bit. My dad is going to run this through the wire wheel really quick to clean it up some more. Brand and new. It's pretty clean, so we're gonna put it back in and it should work for now. I'm gonna use the electric tester that my dad uses a lot. It's actually pretty easy. This end right here goes into the spark plug like that. And then this other end will go into the other spark plug wire and then when we turn it over this light should light up if it has spark. I'm gonna flip the switch up here on the engine to see if we can get spark and if we don't we're gonna try the one on the steering wheel and try it again. Is it lighting up? Not seeing anything. Big pull. Nope. Oh, feels leaking. Oh, big feeling. Really bad. And this thing won't go back in. It's just stuck hanging here. My dad um, just fixed that. Um, the float was just sticking, so it was letting fuel through. But we were not getting spark when we used the engine switch, so we're going to try the front one. I think that's on. We're going to try this again. Nothing. So flip. Both of them? Yeah, both of these. Spark. Oh, it oh, just it fired. Oh, it almost just fired. That's okay. good. Okay. Well, it might run, huh? Yep. Let's get that tester out of there and then, I guess, try to start it. Yep. I'm going to check the throttle to see if it's sticking. Doesn't seem like it is. Um, I'm going to leave the choke on and put the gas on. And turn it over and see if we can get this running and who knows how long ago it ran. Oh, close. The clutch is stuck on it. Yeah, I was pulling it back the whole time. When I let go a tiny bit, it would start going. Yeah, it just wants to go right away. Hey, what if we 
put it up on stands and then you can start it up again and we'll just let it run, run a little bit. Yeah, you can try that. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh, yep. Okay, give it the shake test. It's pretty good. All right, you want to try to start it again? Yep. to take this cover off to see if we can get it unstuck because it got all seized together and that happens when they get really hot. That actually happened on my other go-kart and when you want to stop you can't really stop because it just wants to go. So we're going to take that cover off and try and hit it a little more and see if we can break it free. Are you making progress? Yes, it took like 10 minutes to get worn off. Looks like you got one over here, and then the bottom one, she's just MIA. Yeah. And that one's gone too. So you really only have two more left. Got to do a little bit of interior work, bud. So I got all these bolts off, so I'm going to try and get this cover out of here. Seat belt. Not make it easy. Yeah. Why don't we just get this out of the way anyway? We keep getting it in our teeth and eyeballs. Yeah, we could probably just like come bolt it, bring it over there. All right. Yeah. Here, seems let me like get my earth pounder in there. Yeah, it seems like. That didn't do anything. We got it spinning on the inside. It just died. Dead battery? Yep. That's weird. Ooh, this one could just be rust and stuck. Well, there it's working. So it works just fine when we do this, but once you turn it on, it grabs it and wants to take off. So we're going to grease it up and then lower the idle and see if that'll help. Look at that rust coming out. Yeah. Alright, slower so it doesn't spray everywhere. A little bit faster. It keeps getting stuck. That's better. Normally that would grab, right? Yeah. Then we gotta lower the idle. What are you doing now? I'm using a vice grip to get these off because when you sit back, they like dig into my back, and if I hit a bump, it's really gonna hurt. Well, under here, there is four bolts, the engine mounts. We're going to loosen those to slide the engine over so we can tighten the chains because they're pretty loose. We um, adjusted it, and this one is a little better. This one um, we can't fix because it's both on the engine, so if we move the engine, they all stay together. But this one is on the axle, so we got this one tighter. But we're going to fire it up and see if we fix our clutch. 
coat. We're gonna start it up again, and we're gonna try and use the brakes to see if we can fix the clutch doing that. So we got fuel on, go off, is that switch on? Yes. Slides over. There should be a longer pin off of that, so it doesn't want to move over like that. Do you think if it didn't slide over, it would grab it harder? Oh yeah, absolutely. See like that. Yeah. But then when it was running, it would slide all the way into the yeah like that. Yeah, that tab. Needs to be down, longer. Down there, there's a big circle that it goes through, and it's really big. So if we like put something there, it could hold it in that area. We're gonna take the brake shoe off and see if we can fix the issue of where it wants to move over. This side is what it's supposed to look like right there. Um, this side was just completely gone from rubbing and sliding. So my dad got a washer, cut it in half, and welded it on there. So we're going to get it back on and see if that'll work. My dad's going to hit the brake and show you how it's on there. It just goes straight back and forth, which is really good. We're gonna get the cover back on right here because I think we're done right here with the clutch and chains all that. And then we're gonna try and get the throttle figured out. So the throttle doesn't work because when you bring it back, it goes down, but then it just kind of hangs down and it doesn't go back, it just stays like that. So we're gonna have to figure out how to fix that. We're taking the throttle cable off and we're going to try and um, loosen it because it's getting loose, I mean stuck in the cable. And then we're going to try and grease it up a little. We got the cable fixed, it doesn't stick anymore. Um, we just had to lubricate it up so all I think we need to do now is lower it, um, see if the tires will hold air and then I think we can go take it for a rip. We're gonna move on to the tires. So first we're gonna check the front ones. That one seems like it has air. So does this one. Um, the both, the two back ones are flat. So we're gonna start with 15 PSI and see if that's good enough. And hopefully they will hold air because we do not have a spare tire. So I set this onto 15 PSI at the top and then we're gonna screw this into this right here. Let's put it on there. Screw it over. Okay, and then you're gonna click this. It looks like it's holding air. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the other side. So just in case that one spins out a lot, um, since this isn't a live axle, that means both of the tires spin at the same time. We might have to switch this tire onto that side and then that one onto this side because we might just spin out a lot and not get that much traction. So far, both tires are holding air, so I think we're good to take this for a ride.
Is that roll a lot easier now? Yeah. I think we might have to actually get something to stop. You gonna go for a ride too, Brad? Yeah, when he's done testing it, it's safe. Are you gonna ride with him driving? Yeah, he's definitely driving. What do you think about that? I mean, kind of crazy. Do you trust him? Yes, I do, but... Well, that's good. I feel safer about this go-kart because it has um, seat belts, and I know that this most likely won't ever happen, but let's say some fuel got on the engine, and when I was driving it, it got on fire. Um, I have the switch right here, so if I'm driving, I can just flick it off and get out. Another reason I feel really safe is I have a roll bar in case, again, this most likely won't happen in case I just roll or, like, get in a wreck or something. That'll also help me. I'm going to take it for a test drive first um, by myself just to make sure that the brakes and the throttle works and that everything's safe on it. And then my brother Bradley is going to get in it with me and we're going to take it for a spin. I found a um, big foam piece out of a cardboard box and it fits perfectly across right here. And so that when we're hitting bumps, our backs don't have to be hitting this. I think before my brother rides with me, we're going to put that across right here just for a seat as is right now. I'm going to get buckled in and my helmet on. My dad's going to start it up and we're going to take it for a ride and who knows how long ago it first did. So I've been watching the kids push this out towards Rusty Acres here. We've had a lot of rain recently, like six to eight inches. This is about the only dry patch we have that gives them a chance to ride this thing. But what I noticed was the right side of this frame is really bent. You see that, Bentley? Yeah, um, when you were gone, I was just looking at it while I was waiting for you, and I realized that whole side right there is bent down. Yeah, I think this thing has really been wrecked and yeah, rode and hard and put up wet. And that's why you probably got it so cheap, but that's yeah. all right. If it runs, it runs, right? Yep. That's all you really need is for it to run and drive, technically. Yeah. So... I'm gonna get him strapped in here. Hopefully the seat belt still works. It was hanging up the other day when you're putting it on. I'll get it fired up. We'll let him buzz it around here a little bit, just make sure everything works in kind of a confined space. And then we're gonna make a custom seat out of this stuff. You trust that? Yeah, sort of. Sort of-ish? Better than a steel bar, right? Yeah, a lot better. And uh, we'll buckle Bradley in, and that'll be their first ever ride with a partner huh yep all right get your helmet on man since i'm just going to be testing it alone i'm just going to use this kneeling pad right here it's school shear but i'm just going to be using this for when i'm testing it and then once my brother hops in we'll use the big foam pad are you nervous yes i'm a little bit nervous because it hasn't been driven in a long time and I don't know if it's just going to break or if the brakes work that good or I don't know, really anything could happen. You just reached the pedals it looks like. They really like it. This, I can't even full throttle it. I'm going to have to like scoot up. Alright, you ready? Yep. Alright buddy, have fun. Alright, fuel's on, a little bit of choke. Your seat slid? Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. It's fun. It's actually really fun. Is it? Yeah. And it's not just on a plastic seat like the other one. So I can't even like tell when I'm going over the bumps. Well, did really you fun. notice that you actually have springs on your yeah, front I spindles? Yeah, that when we first got it. Yeah, a little bit better ride? Yep. Awesome. Having fun? Yep. Good. Do you regret this purchase so far? No. Good purchase? Yes. Other than the carburetor bolt, because we <laughs> waited a long time for that bolt to come. That is very true. Other than that, I actually really like this go-kart. Do you want to practice a little bit more, or do you want to throw a Bradley in and just go for a double ride? Uh, just throw a Bradley in. All right, let's get your seat figured out then. Yeah. 
I also really like that it has seat belts. So I just put on a helmet and a wolf spider just crawled up. A wolf spider? Yeah. Where did it go? I don't know, I smushed it on the ground. Oh. Here, can you buckle the seat back? Yeah. So, I used to use this end because it was all confusing, but I figured out it's the metal end. Was it spinning out a lot? So this is the custom seat? Oh, you were spinning out, buddy, quite a bit. Yeah. Surprised we weren't even wearing seat belts. Wow. <laughs> Pretty tight fit in there, the two of you. Yeah. I think you're about maxing it out, huh? Yeah, Bradley, you just gotta... I don't even think mine buckles. Careful, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Bradley's going to be on the throttle the whole time. Yeah, that's what you? I was just going to ask him. You better be careful with your foot. Well, this is kind of inconvenient. That's slightly. why that's here, though. Luckily, it came with that. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yep. Ignition on? Yep. That's good. We're going to have to get this kid a posi rear end of some kind. It's always just so moist out here, you know? You just... Always water. Kid can't ever get traction and he's just, he's tearing up my grass. You know what I mean? We got to take care of that. Also, look at that. See them center lines? Them are, those are the real deal, fellows. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, that was super cool. Was it fun? Yeah. A lot of fun. So I kind of noticed you need both rear tires spinning, don't you? Yes. I think regardless of what kind of tread you get, you're going to need a posi rear, aren't you? Yeah. Is this a beginner cart, or do you think this is something that more big kids can enjoy? I honestly don't really know. Is this faster, or is your Predator swapped cart faster? Predator. Yeah, so this is kind of a beginner cart, probably. Yeah, this one's five horsepower. Predator is six horsepower. Yeah. You having fun, Bradley? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. First time passenger. Yeah. The throttle's really weird, though. Like, I can do this, and it, like, doesn't go all the way. And then, like, just a, then, like, every now and then, then it'll go, like, how much I'm doing it. Like, if I have it full throttle, it'll just go a different speed. And then, like, out of nowhere, then it'll just go. Then yeah, I think the through. needle and seat is sticky because I had to bang sticky. on it with the Leatherman yeah. when uh, it wasn't getting fuel a little while ago. So that fuel make it happen here is not for this engine. It's some sort of swappy-ish thing. So maybe we look at changing fuel make it happen and maybe putting a live axle in the rear. Is yeah. that something you would like to do? Yes. Yeah. Bradley, you want to drive this thing? Sure. Bradley's about two times the weight of me, so um, we're gonna let him drive, and then that will hopefully give more weight on the dri um, driver tire. 
So maybe we can get some more traction to get more some, some more speed. So we're gonna try that out for a little while. Oh yeah, that sounded like pain. Right there. Uh oh. Sure enough. Oh, it's like smashed into the side. Yeah. Primary chain is off, so that's, that's gonna... probably gonna do it, huh? Well, when we first got it, I actually thought it was really junky. I mean, I liked it because it's my first go kart. I could actually ever buy with my own money. Um, I did think it was a little junky, and I was nervous that we weren't gonna be able to get it running. But now that we got it running and stuff, I actually really like this go-kart. It's a little more safe, has seat belts, a roll bar, and my brother can ride with me. Well, it's a lot more fun because normally we'd just be riding separate, but now I can actually like enjoy riding with them too. I could probably fix the chain issue. It's just going to be kind of annoying if that keeps happening because that cover, those bolts, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they take forever to get off. And we're just gonna have to keep taking that cover on and off and on and off. So the improvements I want to make to the go-kart are probably seats. That's the first thing I want to do, I think. And I honestly, maybe new tires, but we could probably just switch them or something axle. like that. Yeah, like the, maybe like an axle or both ti tires turn. Um, just kind of clean it up maybe and that stuff we got this off a of facebook marketplace at first it was really junky um it hadn't ran in a very long time um and we got it running um we kind of fixed it up right now we just got our homemade seat but thank you guys for watching if you're not subscribed please do that and we'll see you all next time